between the sound of the cars going by outside, crew snoring, and the rain on the roof. I love rainy days for that. Rainy days always feels like, you know, you got that extra layer of of protection and noise, you know what I mean? Alright, I'm parked by a very busy road and across the street from the highway. So it's been quite the loud humming noise of vehicles all night long. Alright guys, time to get up. Oh. Oh. Wrong light. <laughs> Where's Crazy? There he is, passed out. Are you there? Excuse me, Crazy. That needs to step off the windows. Ah, see, I like having warmer weather because I don't have to run my heater at night, which means no foggy windows are very minimal. Seems like a great place to sleep. There's a concrete wall there and two houses under construction. Uh, townhouses up there and the big noisy highway across the street. I slept good. Now that's the face of a dog who's a morning person. Good morning, Cruz. Good morning, buddy. <laughs> He's so impressed. Last year, I broke a leaf spring in my van, and I had a friend of mine recommend to go to Carrier Spring in Abbotsford. I sure am glad that I took him up on his recommendation because these guys are just good people. It's a family-run business with good vibes and good energy and a damn good price point. So let me tell you, when I brought my van in today, I brought it in with confidence. But it turns out after we lifted my van up on the hoist and having a great conversation with the boys, we're going to be doing more work to my suspension than I planned on. But that's okay. I think part of my van life dream is about to come true. So today we raised up the back of the van. And well, we're going to be doing the front too. But you guys are going to have to wait for another video on that one. We are in Abbotsford, BC, and I know it's noisy, but the highway is right here. And I'm pretty stoked that I got to walk across this pedestrian bridge because I've driven by it, just never had the need to pull over go for a walk over it. Uh, anyway, we're walking to see my mom right now because my van is back there at the shop this morning getting another leaf spring put in the back of the van. So when I got my van. It always sat up just a little bit higher in the back. Well, now that we got the new van built in and the suspension's kind of worn itself in a bit, it's starting to dip down a little low in the back. So we're adding another leaf spring, which is just a curved piece of metal in the back of the van to give it a bit of a nicer stance. Anyway, while that's getting done, we're going to see my mom. toys. Man, I don't have any more food. You hungry? You want another cookie? You want another cookie? There's a picture of me and Disco. <laughs> oh, there's a good picture of Danica and Disco. Yeah. Sure really well. That's a great picture. Yeah. Those ones were done outside in the front. Mm hmm. Mm, Disco. Cruzy. Here's your Uncle Disco. He's like, I don't care, man. Give me, give me more of those cookies. How handsome that guy is. What? You think I got a cookie? Huh? After taking the van in and getting the rear suspension done, it just felt right to take it in and get a full oil change. Fuel filter change, air filter change, and we even flushed the radiator today. In my van, I changed last year to using full synthetic, and I'm glad I did, because it does buy me a bit of extra kilometers between each oil change. But it feels good to spend money on the van in this way. I used to kick and scream in my old life spending my money on my car, but my van just feels worth it. 
Oh yeah, perfect. I have been addicted to garlic bread lately, like in a huge way. Chris, what's this? Did we come back from a walk the other day and somebody left you this on the front window? <laughs> You're so spoiled. Lynn, thank you for leaving this on the window. Super cool of you. Cruz loves it. Hey, buddy. <laughs> You're so spoiled. What's in here? Huh? What is that? What is this stuff, buddy? What is all that? You can have this. And I spoiled myself. Hooey! Rhino racks. What is this, Cruz? What is this, buddy? Huh? You want to see? I want to see. Oh, you got to cut that open, Cruzy. Big, huge, beefy roof racks. <laughs> Hardcore, buddy. Okay. We got some hardware. Another one of these. Another one. It's more hardware. You know that cheap roof rack I bought for like 200 bucks? Look at it, it's rusting. All like on the corners of all these things. And then the rust is dripping down the side of the van. The bad part about this is when rust drips, if I don't make sure this is always wiped and clean, this will start to rust. Ah. It's all over here too, from the rust up there. Oh man. As you can tell, there's a whole lot there. I'm gonna have to cut that off in order for the awning to sit backwards. Let me go show you the other side. See those are nicely tucked in like that? Well, the awning one's gonna be cut back that short as well, because the awning's gonna mount from the top and hang down right above there. <laughs> Sorry I'm not filming this whole project. Just wanna get it done. It might rain, it's getting dark outside, so I'm just gonna run a time lapse and uh, get this thing cut up and done. Today turned out to be a pretty expensive day, but at the end of the day, these are home renovations. It's not me spending silly money on silly things doing dumb stuff like I used to in my old life with my old fancy cars. These are home renovations. These are things that are gonna benefit my van life in the future. Raising the back of the van up today by three inches is so gonna help with some clearance on the back roads, which I was being limited by before with my stock, stock height on the van. And in the next few weeks, we're taking the van in and getting the front suspension done. We're gonna raise that up about another two more inches. And if I ever bite the bullet and buy big chunky rims and tires, I should probably get another inch or so from that too. Making my van back road ready. Okay, rims and tires are going to have to wait. I'm not rich, but it sure felt good to make these changes today. 
I think the black ones look a lot better than the big bold white one back there. I like these ones, but those black ones are pretty damn sleek. So let me go show you the roof rack side. Come on, Mr. Crazy. Come on, buddy. All right, so the roof rack will end up getting mounted to that plate there. I need another bolt and I also need the bolt on the front there that mounts to the track. Hold on, I'm gonna spin this around. You guys might not be able to see. But there's a track back here. So I need the, the bolt piece. Where's the middle? So there's a, a square piece that goes into here and then slides into the track and then bolts bolts up to that, to that thing right there. Van looks so good in the dark. Whoo. Sorry guys, didn't make my bed today. It looks so amazing out here from a distance. Like when you back up, I always get that feeling like, <laughs> is that really my house? Is that really my house? Oh, guys, it just glows. Hold on. I'm gonna go kick on a few lights. Huh? How's that? Just adds the right amount of feeling and vibe. <laughs> wow. Pretty cool when you got like this sense of pride in the place you call home. <laughs> I get really proud to show this thing off. Oh shit, I just farted you that. <laughs>